up priest planet is the tarot priest i'm back with another pick a card reading in today's pick a card reading i'm gonna be looking at should you let go of this love connection if you guys are new to my channel welcome to the planet where we embrace love happiness freedom and most importantly truth so shout out to all my new subscribers along with the notification gang thank you so much as usual for all your guys' support i'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much for the people who donate through my PayPal and through my Cash App. I literally see every single one. I just wanted to extend my gratitude towards you guys and supporting the planet and what I do. If you want to support the planet, you can become a part of the Patreon planet. Also, if you guys are interested in booking a personal reading, signing up for my online tarot course, or purchasing my book that I'm getting ready to release, along with my merchandise t-shirt, there will be a YouTube reel. Sometimes YouTube updates, sometimes it doesn't. So if you guys are interested in buying fan gear or planet gear, you can find that link also in the description box below. Last but not least, Follow me on Instagram at the Tarot Priest, where I will be posting more interactive self-help videos and pretty much all of my announcements are going to be on Instagram as it's way more easy to keep in touch with you guys. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. All right, let's get into should you let go of this love connection. The stones are pretty small, so here is a close-up view of the four different stones that you guys can choose from if you need to pause the video to focus in and feel what stone is resonating towards you or pulling towards you, please do so. We have four different decks here, four different stones. We have deck number one, deck number two, deck number three, and deck number four. All right, let's hop into today's video and see if you guys should let go of this love connection. If you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading and should you let go of this connection? Also, it's gonna be a little different this time because I'm going to be using my tarot deck to confirm just to make sure. And basically, I'm gonna pull the cards and then flip up a few tarot cards just for some clarification and confirmation. So it is gonna be a little different today. All right, should you let go of this love connection? Manifesting miracles, your dream is soon to become a reality, trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. One girl stuck. Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So I can already feel like you guys are struggling to let go of this connection in general. And it seems like I feel like there's a different there's going to be a different um, outcome than you expect in this situation. I'm very interested in seeing what else we have uh, because already I'm getting that this is a spiritual, a spiritual situation for you. And I'll get into that. The lovers, you guys could be a Gemini or be dating a Gemini or be asking about a Gemini. You don't have to be. That's just the first thing that comes to mind. We have the lovers and the five of pentacles. Some of you, I feel like there's a couple situations that are coming. Basically, there's going to be a lot of you that are pulling on these decks. And so I'm going to cover each scenario that's coming up because, again, there are already a few scenarios that I see. Um, some of you guys are afraid to let go of this connection because you don't know how you will support yourself. Um, and also you don't want to be alone. So this feels like an, this feels like you could have already broken up with this person and gotten back and broken up. Like, it seems like it could be an on and off, um, situation. It's almost also like, this is a spiritual situation that your higher self is trying to lead you through. Um, so it is going to be a very difficult decision to walk away if you guys do not have a connection with intuition because it's going to take that for you to walk away from this person. Um, you also could be an Aquarius or dealing with an Aquarius or Pisces and dealing with the Pisces. <sighs> There's like four different scenarios. So this is going to be a very different reading. I can already feel it. Um, I'm just going to go with the energy and where it calls me. The universe brings me all I need. So a lot of you guys are afraid of the support like if you will be supported. Um, some of you guys, it's financially, but also support in 
not wanting to be alone. So I'm just looking at the situation. You could also be a Libra or dealing with a Libra. You don't have to be. <laughs> Jeez, this is going to be a very different reading. Like I can already feel it. Reflections, what you contemplate, you actualize. Some of you guys asked for this though. You guys are asking for a blessing and also asking for signs on if you should let this person go. And you are actually creating your reality. So what you're seeing, like the situation that you're currently in is based on how you're choosing to see it. So some of you have manifested this situation for more. If you prayed or asked for more and you've asked God or the universe to send you more or um, if you say, I just want to be happy or I just want to be at peace, this situation was created by the divine. Like the breakup and you um, feeling like, okay, maybe it's time to let go of this has been divinely created based on your prayer, like your manifestation. You kind of created this situation and I'm going to get into that fertility. So some of you guys could also have a child with this person. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like a lot of you, um, just don't know how to leave because of financial security, but also, um, not leaving this person cause they could be supporting you financially cause you have a child again, bear with me. There are multiple different situations here, like a lot of dis different situations. Um, so some of you definitely could have a child with this person. All right, let's see what else is going on. Dreams coming true. Yeah. So it seems like it seems like the universe is trying to move you away from this person so that you can actually have the dreams and the desires. That's what I'm saying. Like you guys wanted this uh, subconsciously. You have asked for this. You've asked for more. You're saying that you're not happy or you want to be happy. And so the universe is like, okay. I'm trying to move this person away from you so that you can experience peace and love and all the things that you desire, but you keep holding on. And so this is about dreams. This is about you and showing you your future so that your intuition, um, first of all, you're, you guys are disconnected from spirit. Okay. You're, you're disconnected from spirit with the moon card here. My intuition guides me to the right decision. A lot of you haven't been able to make the decision because you're not tuning in to what your intuition is trying to lead you to. And also there's fear. There's fear around not being supported or this person could have been your best friend um, and always around you or financially supported. So you take it how it resonates. Again, there are multiple different situations, but this is about yourself. This is about giving yourself what you desire. So I speak truth and fairness to myself. This, this decision of releasing this connection, cause I'm already feeling like you should let go of this connection, but it's not just to break up. It's you can't let go of this connection because I'm telling you to do so basically is what I'm telling you. You cannot let go of this situation by hyping yourself up to, to say, okay, you know what? You're not even worth it. You know, hyping yourself up, whatever the case may be. This situation is solely in your heart. Like you have to make the decision to let go because you feel like you deserve better or you want your dreams to be obtained. So this situation is about what means more to you and is it worth sacrificing and compromising your happiness, your peace and your inspirations? Cause a lot of you guys are so Focus on the situation that you have lost your dreams, your inspiration, your desires. It has created a lot of sadness. So with this trust and the transformation, you guys are also going through this transformation. So you're seeing the outcome of your answered prayer, basically, is what's happening here. So some of you guys could have kids. You don't have to have kids. Um, but also what this is for the few of you that do not have children with this connection that you're asking about, it is to rebirth your new beginning. It's time for a new chapter in your life. And so you have to feel like you're worthy of what you're asking for, what you're desiring. And that is happiness, peace, and inspiration. However, there is a slight disconnect in trusting that the universe will give you what you need to feel at peace. And then also are your dreams worth it again, because you have been distracted with this connection. And so again, you have dreams here. I trust my knowing and make a commitment. 
This is not lovers in the sense of this person. This is lovers in your commitment to yourself. That's what this is about. So think of it as yourself, right? Your spiritual self, your true authentic self is another person. You are making a commitment and love to that person. And that's what you guys are learning here is why, why to let go of this connection is because you're putting yourself first. Okay. So this is about you. All right. And dreams. This is about your dreams and your heart. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. And so this is about your dreams and everything that's been on hold because of the relationship. Darkest fears. Some of you have fears of being alone. Fears of not surviving. Um, fears that you'll never find this connection again. Fears that um, how this person made you feel you'll never find, but you're learning that love is everywhere, that you are love, and that love is just not in the relationship or the connection. This is about finding yourself, finding your dreams, and putting your dreams first and saying, okay, I love you, but I have to release you because my dreams and my happiness and peace are way are worth more than what I'm settling for. That's why. In this person also, I'm getting that they just need to evolve. And in order to evolve, you must let go. Now, this isn't to say that later down the road, this will come back because I'm not looking at that in per se. But as of right now, it looks like you should let go of this connection. And it almost like you're you're staying and you're holding on to it out of fear. And you should not hold on to a connection out of fear. You should hold on to it out of love. And that's also what you're learning. That love is everywhere. Find balance. Balance with yourself, right? Putting other people before first, like worrying about the other person all the time like but you're not finding balance because if you were worried about yourself as much as you were this person you would have already obtained your dreams and so that just tells me too is that you are have been neglecting yourself because of this connection a beautiful little worm what did i just say <laughs> i'm getting i'm getting really good at this i am getting good at this okay what does that say take care of yourself this is about you. This isn't about the other person. This isn't about love. This isn't about a relationship. This is about you, right? Trusting a safe place for you to go. Again, some of you guys are worried about the security, right? And then also where you will go. So some of you guys, a few of you have lived with this person and you are, you are transitioning but you might not have a place to go. Again, I said, for some of you, children are involved. For a few of you, you live with this person. And again, for some of you, it's just um, feeling like this was your person or feeling like also you don't really have a vision for the future because your vision for the future was with this person. So that's also about a safe place to go. Coming together, yeah. So coming together, again, this is a child. A lot of you guys are dealing with children. It's still coming up, coming together, still being there out of love for the children, um, but understanding also putting yourself first, dedicated effort, putting towards the effort for your own. Now, again, I'm gonna say this, <laughs> I'm not trying to preach, but I'm just saying, if you put as much effort into that relationship, or if you put as much effort into yourself as you did in that relationship, you would be flourishing. Like you would have everything you want. You have so much dedicated effort towards relationships, but not really for yourself. You have to, first you have to feel like you deserve that. You have to feel like you deserve to put effort in towards yourself and building yourself up. Third eye chakra. Yeah. So a lot of you are being led or trying to be led with your intuition. You can't see what life would be like after you release this person. And that's also what's keeping you there. So a lot of you are living in the past memories like, Oh, but I remember when we did this and oh, it felt so good. You're living in the past. And so your third eye is trying to show you the future, um, but you have to connect with this, okay? Connecting with this is first meditating also and getting out of your head about the situation. Now, using my tarot cards, I just wanna see, um, again, for the people who choose this stone, should they let go of this person? Should they let go? Thank you. Yeah, again, child is coming up. So patience with yourself and releasing this connection. So 
just because the tarot priest tells you to release it doesn't mean like tonight you're like, oh man, this is it, this is it. Some of you, it's gonna take time and that's okay. Being patient with yourself. Don't, don't rush this process of releasing, okay? It's necessary. And then eight of cups, walking away, right? This is walking away from the connection. Let's see, why is the eight of cups here? Yeah, again, it's some of you, it's financial security or it's security in general. Why is the four of pinnacles here? Yeah, making the decision, two of swords, to walk away, but living in the past with the six of wands. All right, anything else? Thank you. Death. I mean, it. You. some of you know that this is over, like you know that it's time, but, and again, judgment, it's a part of your spiritual awakening is to release this connection. This is a very deep connection for a few of you, like this is deep. That's why there's a reason why you feel like you cannot let go of this connection. It's a very deep connection. Um, it's almost like what I'm hearing is the universe sent this person in order to wake something up inside and, and to get you to kind of move um, the high priestess in reverse. So yeah, a lot of you are just simply not following your intuition and your heart. Now it is okay to love this person, but that doesn't mean you have to be in the relationship in loving. You guys are learning that as well. So overall, I truly feel like this connection, letting go of it right now is a part of your spiritual awakening, but also your intuition is trying to speak to you. A lot of you are avoiding it because you don't want to face this. And it is hard because again, I already feel like this is a big decision for you. So take your time and be patient with yourself, but also understanding trust and acceptance accepting the situation is also part of letting go of the situation. You guys have amazing future dreams becoming reality. Like that's the, the, the other side of you taking this leap of faith. So let's see what your guys' guidance is. Assertiveness. This situation can be healed gently with love as you've requested, yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with the other people involved. So this is about being truthful, about truthful, not just to that person, but to yourself in what you deserve in a relationship. And then also energy work. Life can be electrifying because it's very essent. Your body is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatments. Your hands and hearts are activated to give healing energy. So it's also for some of you waking up these healing gifts and um, this knowledge of energy work. It's waking you up to your purpose. It's waking you up to understanding spirit, getting closer to spirit. But most importantly, it's waking you up to love. You're learning love, basically. It's not that you have to be with people that you love, but you're learning unconditional love for yourself and you're learning how to heal yourself as well with the energy work. So all in all, my answer to your question, should you let go of this connection is yes, I'm just being completely truthful with you guys in what I see, but I'm only saying that based on after you release it in your heart, it is going to bring about more miracles and happiness for you. And that's what's most important to me is that you guys are free and that you're happy and that you're at peace. So that is my answer. Um, again, be patient with yourself. Give it time if you guys want to try to make it work again. I understand that. And so it is a process, so be patient with yourself. If you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading. Don't forget to comment down below. I'd love to get some words of encouragement back to you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to move on to deck number two. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and should you let go of this love connection. So I'm going to be pulling the cards, but I'm going to do a little something different, and that is I'm going to be looking at my tarot deck to clarify once we get the cards up. So should you let go of this connection? Surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives, let go, and all will work out. Playfulness, have some fun together. Love is the greatest healer. So a lot of you are healing. So whoever you guys have been dealing with, I feel very heavily that majority of you have been very hurt by this person. And I can already feel spirit telling me that you, you're learning how to heal, but you're also learning how to, like I said, the mission is to love the people that have hurt us the most. And that can be challenging at times. So it's actually you learning how to love this person or forgive this person as well. So let's just see what's coming on here 
with this letting go. Three of Wands, I have all the energy I need to realize my goals. Two of Swords, whatever I decide, I trust the outcome. So a lot of you haven't made the decision. You're still stuck on this relationship. You're remembering all the good times, basically. Page of Cups, I am as young as I choose to feel. A lot of you have been in relationships that were for a long period of time. I make decisions. However, some of you have not made the conscious decision of what you're going to do. Pay or the Queen of Cups, I trust my knowing and follow my heart. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Water, heaviness lifts, burdens are cast away. This situation has been very difficult to move forward because of the lack of forgiveness. A lot of you have been hurt or a lot of the people that you guys are inquiring about have been hurt. And so it's been like, it, once you guys got back together for, for some of you, it was just like constantly being reminding of the past, like not actually getting a new beginning or a new start. So it, it is very heavy. This is a burden. Um, vulnerability, open your heart, allow yourself to be tender. So a lot of you are also very closed off. Your heart chakra is blocked um, due to being hurt. A lot of you have been hurt by this person. Um, I feel like, a, you know, some of you have been cheated on. Some of you have been lied to. Some of you guys have feel feeling like this person has betrayed you, but you really love them. And so you're like, I don't know what to do. How can I love someone who can be so um, heartless is what I'm hearing. And that's because of unconditional love. And you guys are also learning that is the unconditional love. You guys are, uh, you could be a water sign. There's a lot of like, um emotional energy here and you know what this doesn't seem to be this doesn't seem to be a very spiritual connection it seems like it's more of a karmic situation there's absolutely no spirituality here there's no major arcana so i'm going to clear that up too with my tarot deck that's why i have it today um but leading too so leading is It's almost like some of you need your own life outside of this person. Um, giving and receiving, giving too much, receiving too less, um, feeling like you're being taken advantage of, take the lead again. So it seems like this person is waiting for you to forgive them. Um, but I also feel like this person doesn't really know how to put in effort or step up. And so there's been a lot of leading, sh leading for you guys. Um, having to, yeah, heart chakra, having to make the decision, like having to do most of the work yourself for the relationship. Some of you feel like this person is really not fighting for it. Um, and so your heart chakra too. So a lot of you, this was to awaken you to uh, love and your heart opening up. It's, it's about vulnerability. A lot of you are closed off. I don't know if you're ready to even be in another relationship after this situation. Um, so it's almost like you have to surrender what has happened, forgive this person and, um, doing it out of love, uh, with the heart chakra being open. A lot of you are afraid of being hurt. So it seems like for some of you, this person wants to be with you, but you're afraid of being hurt again. And then for a few of you also, it's about the lack of effort that this per person is putting in. Yeah, solar plexus. It's a lot of out of a lot of out of alignment situations with this person. Um, your confidence level has changed. Your self esteem has dwindled. So these this relationship has been very emotionally draining. Balance, yeah. And so you're you're in a place of balance, but needing balance for yourself and this person. But I'm gonna clarify with the tarot deck to just see what's going on so that I can give you guys the answers that I feel like will help you with should you let go of this love connection. The person that chose this stone, should they let go of this love connection? With this love connection, thank you. Eight of Wands, so you guys might not be in communication with this person or the communication is very, um, you know, off and on. Um, the Fool card, let's see why the Fool card is here. Hermit. Okay, so now we're getting into the spiritual side of it. We have some major arcana. Um, you could be a Virgo. You don't have to be. That's the only sign that I see so far. Um, a lot of you guys are afraid of being alone. 
And that's also why you're holding on. You don't know how to make decisions for yourself in the sense of being your own strength. Um, taking the lead also. Taking the lead in your life is why we have leadership up here so many times. Um, you're depending on other people to kind of do that for you. So the Hermit card, it seems like you guys are being asked to be in Sanctuary for this time period. Um, yeah, Ten of Cups. Let's see, why is the Ten of Cups here? Um, it seems like you... Why is the Ten of Cups here? Thank you. Yeah, it seems like you guys just need some time apart. It's nothing crazy um, for this group. You guys just need some time apart. This person has to evolve. You have to learn how to take the lead in your situation. You guys are not giving each other a fair new beginning. So some of you have been on and off of this relationship, but there's not really a new beginning. So the separation, right? Let's just say you guys were separated or separating physically. That doesn't mean that in your heart you're separated. So it's about the separation so that you can evolve. So you guys can both evolve when you come back. It's a completely new beginning. It's like you guys are kind of just going backwards, repeating these same cycles, but it's almost like you have to take the lead in this. For some of you, I feel like this person wants to be with you, but it's your it's your strength to be able to stand up and take the lead in your own life and say, no, this is not what I need right now. So a lot for very few of you, again, take it how it resonates. When it comes to love, there are thousands of you guys watching this video. So I want to make sure I cover all bases, but it's about you taking the lead and you having the ball on your court. 10 of Pentacles. Like, I feel like this, I feel like this can potentially come back together in the future. Um, so it's almost like you should let go. Hmm. Let's see. Why is the Hermit card here? Six of Pentacles. You're also learning balance. That's something that's really big with the Six of Pentacles is that you guys have to learn how not to put so much in relationships. Like it's okay to love and put that in, but I, I, I for some reason, I don't feel like you guys should let go of this connection. Um, it's just gonna take some forgiveness and like a little bit of separation. Um, because even with surrendering the old before the new, it's like letting it go and letting it work out, but not being so, some of you guys are just so hard on this person because of the things that have happened in the past. And that's what I'm saying with the forgiveness, it's about giving them a new opportunity, but taking some time away, going on your own for just a little bit um, because it seems like you guys just need to get back to how it was in the beginning, like just being playful and taking the, the expectations off. Like there's a lot of expectations on this relationship that I feel like also made it fail. And so I don't, I don't feel as though I'm getting that you guys should let go of the connection. It's almost like you guys just need some separation to work on that to see where it's going. So let's just keep looking three of wands yeah i i genuinely feel like it's going to uh come together okay let's see what else we have for the oracle so yeah it's about balance heed wise counsel and listen and endless regret obsessive grief replaying the past yeah you guys are living in the past and so what's happening is that every time you give this person a chance or even the people that you guys, it's for some of you, if you've moved on, you're still attracting people who are stuck in the past as well. But for the most part, you guys are still replaying past events. That's why I said, some of you have been hurt by this person. Some of you are not really giving them a fair chance again because of the things that they've done or the lack of effort that they put in. But I feel as though um, you're right now, it's about you surrendering and letting go of the expectation and the outcome that has put too much pressure on the relationship um and that's where the wise counsel comes in and there's so much sadness looking back it's like there is a new beginning and a possibility with this person however you guys are just again replaying the past so it's putting a lot of this relationship on hold and a lot of burdens some of you also don't want to separate or be alone right now and that's also creating this so there needs to be some time um, before you guys can come back. I do feel like there's love here. It doesn't seem like a very deep spiritual connection, but as I pull the tarot, 
it's it seems like more of a spiritual connection for you um releasing karmic past cycles and having balance um and being learning how to open back up your heart chakra to give this person another opportunity or another chance is what i'm getting for you guys about allowing yourself to be open with the heart chakra you're closed off because of and you know for some of you even if this person didn't hurt you it's it's someone else from your past that has hurt you and you're kind of replaying that event and this person is just a different physical person but the same presence of energy from that person in the past that has hurt you so you're treating them like that and so you're not really giving them an opportunity or a chance to do do right by you because of the trust factor that you guys have you've been hurt and so the decision is to take some time and allow things to kind of heal um but i don't feel like you should let go of this just yet cupid we send waves of love into your heart and mind awakening your love for life itself your clear decision to accept and enjoy romance has triggered this reawakening allow yourself to spontaneously celebrate love so you guys just have some of you have these uh, these high expectations that when you're you know you want this and it, this is great to have future goals but also going with the flow and not feeling like you have to have control and that comes from fear fear of things falling apart, fear of getting hurt again, that type of stuff. So this seems to be more of some time for yourself um, for new opportunities, whether it's with this person or another person. Regardless, it seems like surrendering the past in general is, is the theme for you guys for deck number two. Child, you care deeply about children and they readily respond. All children, including your inner child, require love, affection, and attention. So for some of you, there are some things, like I said, in the past that have hurt you even from childhood, right? For some of you, it's childhood pains of neglecting or rejecting you or abandoning you, or you said you were going to do this and you didn't do it. And now I don't have, I don't trust you. So a lot of you have these, not all of you again, take it how it resonates, but also it's about healing your inner child. Remember, even though we get older and we're 20 and we're 30 and we're 40, that child is still there. We're still that little girl. We're still that little boy. We're still carrying those things. And so a lot of this also is coming from childhood situations that still need to be healed. Um, and it almost feels like this person came to kind of trigger these things in you so that they could be healed um, also is what I'm getting. But we can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to children who need you. And so this is, some of you could have children also with this person or um, if not, then it's just your inner child that needs some healing and some time based on the things that have happened. So overall, I feel like it's going to take a little bit of time, but there is a new beginning regardless. And I do feel like you shouldn't exactly hold on to, or you shouldn't exactly let go of this situation just yet. Um, allow some healing. And also for some of you, try to see it from a different perspective so that you can have a new beginning. And that's why I said separation sometimes takes that for you to have a different perspective. So if you guys chose deck number two, this is what I got for your reading. And if you should let go of the love connection that you have with this person, don't forget to comment down below. I'd love to get some words of encouragement back to you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to move on to deck number three. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading and should you let go of this connection. Also, I have my tarot deck, so I will be confirming some of the cards that come out just to get some more clarity. So this is going to be a little bit different today. All right, let's see. Should you let go of this love connection? Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. My beloved, though we are physically apart, spiritually we are always united for love transcends space and time, nothing is missing. Forgiveness, stop focusing your energy on past events. Your life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream and imagine. A message for you. Already this is a deep connection. <laughs> this is definitely twin flame. So if you chose deck number three, now, obviously, you guys should do some more confirming and some more research because it seems as if now there's there's this new trend of wanting to be a twin flame like this fairy tale lifestyle. I'm a twin, and I'm just gonna let you know this is not a fairy tale connection. Um, it is very challenging. Some people, even on the outside, see it as very toxic. So I feel very heavily already that this is a twin flame reflection, understanding that twin flames. You are them and they are you, not by 
physical traits, characteristics, and um, hobbies, like, oh, well, they like this and I like this, so I don't know how we're the same. Your spirit, your higher self, it is the same. Your soul is one. And so that just in the space of reflection, it seems to me like you guys are going through a period of separation. So this is going to be fun. Queen of Swords, I protect what matters to me. A lot of you already, I can feel like, are chasers. Some of you, I'm getting maybe a few of you guys are runners. But with the Twin Flame dynamic, there's a runner and a chaser. Or sometimes you guys may inner shift and change. This is just running or chasing the connection. You guys seem to be the chaser for a lot of you. Um, Four of Cups, I will move forward when the time is right. Some of you are not ready. Some of you feel like it's impossible to let go of this person. Welcome to the club. Two of Wands, still haven't made a decision. I focus on what I want and I make it happen. Let's see what else we have. I stand my ground and look for peace. So some of you are not at peace. You're in your head a lot. Um, you're not sure exactly what to do about this situation. Nine of Pentacles, some of you are also focusing on work but nurturing yourself now for you guys this seems like it's going to be a twin flame coaching session um for you guys you have to understand that as you nurture yourself you nurture the bonds of the relationship because you're one and so with the separation you can still love that person by loving yourself it is very complicated to understand but again remember that you guys are one soul so when you nurture yourself or when you neglect yourself, you're actually neglecting the relationship. So there does seem to be some codependency of relying on this person or them relying on you for happiness. Um, for a lot of you now, if this resonates, that's perfect. If not, it could be that you guys are not twin flames, but you have a very, very heavy connection in soul. So a very heavy soulmate connection, okay? I just want to make sure those are the two that I feel like with this deck, twin flame and heavy soulmate connection. All right. Telepathy, definitely twin flame, right? So you're not physically connected, but spiritually you're connected. Like you feel them, they feel you, you dream about them. Sometimes you feel like they're there. It is a very crazy situation. I know um, you guys could be miles apart in different countries, in different cities, um, different states and still feel them. So you guys are communicating telepathically with this person. Mind reading also earthly spirituality conversation. So this tells me that you guys are also waking up to your purpose, which is the reason for the separation. So I'm going to get into that as well. So you're waking up to your spirituality. This connection has actually grew you closer to intuition and spirit. And that's what source wants. Release it. Okay. So release control. A lot of you are trying to control the relationship and the outcome. When are we going to get back together? How long is this going to take? I can't live without you. This is so much to bear. Yes. You're transcending and releasing all of that pain and all of the things that have happened with this connection. There are a lot of karmic things that have happened in your guys' past life. Remember soulmates, twin flames, you guys have shared past life history. So controlling things, believe it or not, is actually chasing and not allowing, right? Don't chase, don't run, just be still and allow. That's what you guys are also learning too. And it's very difficult. I understand teaching. So this is teaching you a lesson, whether soulmate or twin flame, you are learning more about yourself. Some of you guys are questioning and a lot of you um, have booked coaching sessions just based off of this twin flame separation. So not you guys in particular, but I feel like this is a lot of the, the uh, energy that I've been picking up lately as I've been getting these coaching sessions is why do I love someone that could do this to me? Or why do I love someone who's so crappy or whatever your scenario or however you see it is? And it's because you unconditionally love them. So no matter what they do, you will always love them. So this is teaching you unconditional love. Now that love that you give to that person it's the same love that you should feel like you deserve. And that's where the running stops because why would you run after something that you already have for yourself? You're learning that you're learning self-worth manifesting. So a lot of you are manifesting dreams, but also a new beginning, a new life and, um, putting yourself first and more money too. I feel like some of you guys are getting ready to come into your purpose. 
right? New energy, new vitality. So you guys are, source is trying to get you to bring in some new energy, not to stay focused on the past, to release the past and allow things to work out, trust and have faith. Now also this connection, soulmate or twin flame, doesn't matter, is for the purpose of connecting with your higher self, God, source, whatever you believe. This is a divine connection. This wasn't you're just out and you ran into each other and oh my gosh, out of the billions of people, you found each other. That's crazy to orchestrate that. It is divinely orchestrated, which means that it has a much higher purpose than just calling it a relationship or a title, okay? Listen, so you are being guided even right now through your spiritual eye to go in the direction that's required in order to either bring this back into union or find your life partner. There is no in between. Either you're on the brink of finding your life partner, if it's a soulmate, or you're on the brink of coming into union with your twin flame. Okay? Choose your battles. Running after this per person, fighting after this person, it's exhausting you. Eventually you will stop because that's you running, right? Now, I want you to imagine yourself running after your hands in your arms. You're just running in circles. <laughs> because remember, if it's twin flame, you're running after yourself. So why would you run after your hands or your arms if they're already here? And so this is what you're learning too. There's no point of running towards something that you already have. Once you come back to yourself in ascension, which is a huge part of the twin flame separation, getting closer to source and self, you will no longer run because everything you need, you realize that you already have. That's the lesson that you're learning too, that this person doesn't have what you need. This person just has what you believe that you need. So you have to shift your beliefs and understanding that you already have what you need, okay? So it is a learning process spiritually. The fury be, my life is sweet. So you're manifesting a new life, new dreams, and something that you can enjoy for yourself, but patience because you will move forward when the time is right okay some of you are still dwelling over this it is time to become a great leader so you're waking up to your purpose even with bees I, it just reminds me of purpose as i was mentioning um to someone here briefly that the bees have such an amazing purpose without them the world would be completely different and we're talking about an insect so this reminds me of your purpose and you are learning that you're manifesting your purpose and being a leader. You could be a Leo. You don't have to be, um, but that is definitely here. Positive, uplifting new friends. So as you go through this, man, this twin flame connection and the soulmate connection uh, for both of you connections, a lot of your friends are going to say, you know, come on, move on, get over it, or just go talk to this person, or just you should do this, or Forget that person, they're a piece of whatever. And it's just like, that doesn't help because I still love them regardless if I feel, that's the problem. I feel like they're, that I deserve more, but I still love them. So it is a tricky situation, but I do feel like you need to shift your friends um, because they don't understand this connection and more spiritual connections. And anything that you're questioning, the answer is within. So all of your other uh, friends that are just hyping you up to leave or come on, you deserve better than that. These are all great words of advice as they are true. However, it's a little bit more complex than that because of the, the, spiritual, com uh, the spiritual connection that you guys have. It is basically soul and tied, like you guys are tied together. So it's gonna take some time to untie for some, for, for some of you. All right, let's see, should you let go of this connection? The person that chose deck number three, should they let go of this connection? Thank you. Nine of Cups, you are not happy. Even in the connection, you weren't happy. This person, regardless, has to evolve. That's gonna take time. So what you guys have to understand is either they evolve or you settle. And you're being called to step step up. Uh, Six of Wands, getting out of the past, doing things that are that you're passionate about um, is something that you're not doing. Putting yourself first, okay? Some of you have new projects coming. Some of you are divorced from this person. Now this is just a very few of you guys, okay? I just wanna touch on them for a second. Some of you guys are either married or divorced to this person as well, is what I'm getting. So let's see what this is about. 
starting um, you're starting new endeavors. Uh, but this is also about you walking in your power to make the right decision for yourself and putting yourself first and, and remaining firm in your decision. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. Should the person, the people that have chosen deck three, let this connection go? Yeah, some of you guys either lived with this person, were married, engaged, divorced, or worked for together for some, some time. So let's see, should they let go of this person? Should the people who chose deck number three let go of this person? The star card in reverse. You're afraid to also let go because you don't feel like it's going to come back together. That's also a part of your faith and, and trusting in your faith. Now, cards are flying everywhere. All right. Should they let go of this person? The people who've chosen deck three. Um, also, this is about self-love. One second. A lot of you are dreaming about this person. It's definitely a soulmate connection. Now, here's my answer based on these cards, okay? Yeah, here's my answer. My answer is that physically you should let go of this person to allow it to come back into union. I definitely feel like this is a soulmate, a long-term soulmate connection, but also a twin flame. So the answer is you should let go of this person physically to evolve and allow it to come back together. Uh, but not to, now here's the problem, is when I tell you guys that there is union in the future, you guys hold on to it. And that's why sometimes it's not good to know what's gonna happen because then you're waiting. And so the answer is not to wait for this person, um, but to have hope in the future. A lot of you guys just don't feel like it's gonna come back together. And that's what, that's why you guys are afraid of letting go of the connection. But right now I feel like you should let go in order to forgive and get clarity for a new beginning. So I don't feel like you should let go of the connection spiritually, but physically you should let go of this person. So in your heart, keep them there. But, and that's the hard part about this twin flame connection is because there is union. So my, my technical answer is no, you shouldn't let go of this person. However, it is very hard to evolve when you are still holding on. So I don't think you should let go of this person. I should, th I should think, I think that you should allow it time to work itself out. All right, joy. This is what this is about. Your own joy. Joy is the highest energy of all. It's all about you having your own source of happiness outside of this person as well. Um, joy springs from appreciating the gifts within each moment. Joy allows you to attract and create your present and future moments at its highest possible levels. Creative projects. So a lot of you are experiencing pain and, and uh, of course, with this connection, it is very painful to let go of and, and to detach yourself when you're so connected in the soul. And you're being asked to express that through creative art or creative project, all right? So your soul longs to create itself or express itself. And this could be singing, poetry, whatever you need to do, journaling, um, dancing to express yourself. Use that to transcend your feelings of sadness, grief, or pain. And then blessing in disguise, all right? Let's see what this one is about. What appears to be a problem is actually part of your answered prayer. You'll understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything revolves and resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way. So this is, again, like I said, divine. All right. It's a blessing because there's evolving. I am very thankful for my separation from my twin because it allowed me some time to grow and it allowed me some time to really find myself. Without my separation, let's just, this is what it would be, guys. Without my separation from this person, there would be no tarot priest because that's when I found myself. And so it is a gift and I am very thankful for that separation. Though it was a painful nine months of separation, I am so glad that I was able to have the time. And it was like pulling Velcro, all right? It was a lot of isolation and tears and regrets. And, and I, I kept telling myself, I just don't want to hate. 
I don't want to resent. I don't want to hold vengeance. I don't want to hold guilt or shame. And so I had to constantly purge myself of those things, but there would be no tarot priest. I would not be here. You would not be here. And so that's crazy, right? Without that separation, no me here. So it is necessary and it is a blessing. If you guys chose deck number three, this is my reading. And should you let go of this connection? Technically, no, but yes. And that's the thing with the twin flame. It's like, yes, you're letting go, but they're still here in the heart. And so that's, that's my answer for you guys. Don't forget to comment down below. I'd love to get some comments of encouragement back to you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to move on to deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading in. Should you let go of this love connection? I'm going to be doing my usual pick a card, but I also have tarot to do some confirmation and some clarification. So I do have that. Let's start with, should you let go of this love connection? Criticizing one another. Whose fault is it? It's your fault. Healing. Emotions are a natural part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your judgment. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Some of you are hurt. There's a lot of healing that needs to take place and you guys are blaming each other, but you're learning love because love and accept each other as you are and the relationship will magically transform. All right, let's see what else you guys got going on. Knight of Pentacles. The relationship seems to need some work. King of Swords. A lot of you really are really didn't give this person the benefit of the doubt and don't feel as though it will actually work out. And you're tired. A lot of you are just tired of the bullshit is what I'm getting. Yeah, six of wands. You're ready to move forward, but you're not sure how. And you're also learning how to receive love, okay? 10 of swords in reverse. You guys are coming out of this, but you're resisting the ending with this person. And there are some fears there that are holding you back. Now, you resisting this ending is creating anxiety and depression for some of you. Open up. So yeah, you have to open up to source. You have to open up. A lot of you are afraid to be vulnerable because you've been hurt. And so right now, it is a necessary time for you to open up to source and spirit and universe, whatever you call it, so that you guys can receive and heal. Like your heart is wounded. Like I can feel that you guys are very hurt and it's not just this person it's like everyone this is this is just the icing on the cake is what i'm feeling for you guys like wow you came in it's all to get you to seek the truth so that you can stop manifesting these people of these this energy you guys keep manifesting these type of people it seems to be a pattern throat chakra speaking up for what it is that you want what it is that you deserve not settling for less Feeling alone, a lot of you guys have fears of feeling alone, but also feeling alone, one, being disconnected from spirit and you feeling alone. A lot of you feel like you don't have friends you can trust, friends that can support you. They're just telling you, oh, forget about them, blah, 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 like, who cares? Like, they weren't even this, they weren't even that. So a lot of you just feel alone. A lot of you feel like this person doesn't understand you. You're misunderstood oftentimes, and so you do feel alone. And so that's coming up and you have fears of being alone. And that also comes from your spirit. Okay. This is a spiritual awakening for you guys. This was it. It's almost like the universe has been trying to talk to you, you know, books falling off the shelf, trying to get your attention, leaves falling off in front of your face. And you're just kind of like, do, 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 not really open to seeing that spirit almost brought this person to you so that you can now focus on spirit and Unfortunately, sometimes it comes in a form of a relationship, but also clarity of belief. You guys really don't trust. I feel as though some of you may have some type of spiritual background, but this real deep connection with your spirit is lacking. And this was to get you to seek the truth, to open up. This is all about intuition. This is all about, yeah, nurturing yourself and just being in tune. You guys have kind of been distracted uh, with a lot and this person came in and kind of like woke you up, threw you off guard. Um, let's see, 
what this is about. Birth of goddess, guidance, goddess energy, treating as sacred. Um, Self-worth also is, is very heavy for you guys. I did po a post on my Instagram, if you don't follow me, the tarot priest. And basically I said that self-worth is your what you believe you deserve. And it's not what everyone else believes that you deserve. You are setting your own value. And so you have to start treating yourself as more of a sacred being and understanding who you are so that you can stop attracting people of this caliber and nurture yourself. Let's see what else we have. Sisterhood, friendships, and joy, loyalty. So there are some trust issues that we have here. Um, and it's not just from this relationship. Like I said, you guys have been hurt. And I said earlier, you guys have felt misunderstood by friends and, and not sure who you can trust. And so it does create a sense of feeling alone. And, and that is why your intuition is trying to connect you, right? So when you have intuition, you're able to see things from a spiritual perspective. So it's almost like having a superpower so that you don't walk into these doors. And when you see people, you meet people, you're like, okay, not for me. Don't even have to waste my time in a two year relationship to, to discover this. Your higher self is trying to give you these gifts so that you can avoid walking in certain doors. Also protecting you, all right? Um, your guys' heart is very delicate. Again, there have been some mishaps that have happened. Um, and I also feel like you, when this person came, you just simply weren't ready. Um, but it is very heavy. Let's get into the tarot to see what is going on with the people who have chosen this stone and deck number four. Uh, because honestly, I just feel like you guys have trust issues, um, not just from relationships, but from people. And you're very emotional about the situation. And so this is letting go of resentment also, but loving, loving yourself and not blaming yourself for this as well. A lot of you are really blaming yourself about this connection. All right, should this person let go? Or what are, what are they? Let's first see who I'm talking to because I know that there's gonna be quite a few of you guys on this deck. So who am I talking to? Give me, give me some messages. All right. Yeah, you guys are fighting with yourself. It's an inner battle, very defensive. Um, some of you, I feel like this person did break your trust, but a lot of you were not ready. And so it was a lot. Ten of Pentacles. So you guys could have been living together. It's also about walking in your power. You guys could be a Pisces. You don't have to be with the moon card, but it's also about freeing yourself. It's not even about the person. This isn't even about the person that I'm asking. Um, current energy of the people. Um, this isn't even about that. Yeah, a lot of you are living uh, or living with this person or were living with this person and you're just dwelling on the situation. I feel like even some of you have had people interested in you, but you're just kind of like, mm, like it, there needs to be healing. Um, like there's just a lot of wounded things that I'm picking up with you guys. It's very heavy, actually. Um, current energy of the people who have chosen this deck. What is going on with them? What is going on with them? Yeah, there's you guys are going through a spiritual awakening. It's almost like you're you're wounded and you're bleeding, but you, you're not taking enough time to heal before you get into uh, relationships. And so these wounds are just open, and you're kind of just these people are coming in and throwing salt on the wounds because they're not you're not giving it enough time to heal the heal the situation. All right, should they let go of this person? Patience. Thank you. There's love here. Let's see. But it's, <laughs> that's crazy. Cause like when you look at this card right here, it's not even the lover's card. You guys could be a Gemini or dealing with the Gemini, but this card is about loving yourself. Like oh, your heart needs you to heal the wounds. Um, and that's also why this relationship didn't really have a fair chance because there was a lot of hurt in the past is what I'm seeing. So should should you let go of this person? Should you let go of the person that you guys are thinking about? Should they let go of them? Thank you. A lot of you guys are resisting it in the spiritual awakening. It's like, I do have an answer for you. 
You could be a Taurus. One more card. This is it. Yeah. You should definitely let go of this person. And it's crazy because this is the first deck that it's not even letting go of them for you. It's letting go of them for them because you're not in a position right now to give them what they need. Now, if I'm describing the other person, because I also feel like the other person didn't really have a chance that you guys are inquiring about because of the things that have this is going to be a very mature thing for me to say uh, for you guys to receive, but they didn't really get a fair chance. And what happened is a lot of your past events were being triggered by this person. And so a lot of things that you guys were seeing about them was actually magnified. And this is about a spiritual connection. You guys could be a Sagittarius. You don't have to be a Sagittarius, but I'm also picking up on that. This is part of your spiritual awakening to release this person. Um, and right now it seems like the, the, the new love that is coming into your life is yourself. And so this is all about a spiritual awakening, a new beginning and a love for yourself and to release the person because you're just not in a place of actually being able to have a relationship. This person that you guys are dealing with have been healed or wounded as well. So we have two wounded individuals that have tried to come together and make each make each other whole and it, it just wasn't sticking. Um, that's what I'm getting for you guys is that you guys have just been hurt a lot and coming to this situation has created a lot of pain. Sorry, let me move these cards over. Um, I feel like you guys might even be good friends in the future because it just it's okay that it just didn't work out. Let's see what else we have. All these cards. Strange companies and stranger place challenges. Use your imagination. Strange companions. Yeah, it's it's a lot of trust issues in general. Re rediscover your individuality, become the dragon. So this is your own path to spirituality, healing, so that you can get ready for this next person or the new person that's coming into your life as well. And then this card is Beauty and the Beast. You need some space. And so this person, yeah, it's just two people that have been wounded. And this person, there needs to be some space. I feel like you guys... If you guys start a new beginning, it'll be like a friendship. There'll be more of understanding. I also feel like the this relationship lacked understanding. And you guys were just criticizing one another. And you guys were both unhappy. But it's due to some past things that have happened. This person could have even hurt you. If this person hurt you and that resonates with you and they they cheated or they lied, they betrayed you, it's because they, they're they going through a vicious cycle of that as well. So they're wounded in their way of healing their wounds is by doing that. And so they don't know how to actually be in a relationship. Now with you, it's the vulnerability. It's the um, things that this person did that just triggered things in you or made you angry or made you have anxiety or made you depressed or unhappy that you are that you were dealing with. And so basically you weren't ready and you're not ready to be in this relationship because of um, the resentment and the distorted perception. And so you've kind of taken this perception into this new relationship. And so right now it's just about nurturing yourself, loving yourself, even with the lover's card as she's reflecting, loving who you are and all of the healing that that is necessary for you is going to come through loving yourself. As you love yourself, you will begin to heal those wounds that are that are necessary for healing. Um, you guys are amazing, beautiful spirits, and it's just going to take a little bit of time uh, because even you, when good things happen to you, you still question them. And this is trust, right? Trust, building that trust, that loyalty, um, but also trusting yourself. So you're on this, you're embarking on a spiritual enlightenment and a spiritual journey right now. And learning what you believe in, getting closer to spirit. This is also as you resist letting this situation go, you're resisting your spiritual awakening. So my answer is yes, you should let go of this connection. Um, for them, mostly, but for you as well. Trustworthy guidance. So you've received a wonderful idea as an answer to your prayer. These ideas are real and trustworthy. You are safely to move forward, knowing that we are with you every step of the way, receiving our support for anything. 
uh, related to this idea. So you do have guidance and even ask. This whole connection was to trigger the wounds that were neglected and not healed properly. It's almost like you were just wounded walking into the next relationship. And so that also created a very heavy energy already coming into the relationship. Um, so ask, right? Asking for help, connecting with spirit, meditating 10 seconds a day, three times a day, just as a start so that you can feel intuition, so you can feel what's right. And that's kind of what you guys are going on right now is a spiritual journey of awakening. And this person was there to awaken it for you. Perfect timing. Now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations. This is also about you healing yourself, but going after the things you're passionate about. It's going to take time. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the first card also with patience, temperance. Again, you guys are coming together with spirit. Also judgment, um, the spiritual connection that is here for you guys. Uh, for you to have a fair chance in the next relationship, regardless of that, who that be, um, because you deserve that. You deserve love. So the doors are open wide while you walk through them with us by your side. Don't delay or procrastinate as all of the ingredients are right for your success. Everything and everyone is on your side supporting your positive outcome. Also, I feel very heavily for you guys that source or spirit higher self is getting ready to send in people that you can trust, your soul tribe. I do feel like you guys lack that support group um, or friends that actually have some spiritual insight and not from an egotistical view, but who are really going to be able to help you um, kind of depart from the situation, but getting closer to yourself, self-love, self-reflection, and growing in that aspect. So for the most part, again, being patient with your your guys itself. You don't have to, you know, see this video and you're like, well, the tarot priest told me I should let it go. I'm letting it go. No, it's going to be on your timing, on your right timing to um, release this. And you will feel that in your heart when it's the right time. So be patient with yourself. Allow things um, to kind of surface to the shore and then you will be able to make these decisions. But again, this is all about coming back to spirit. What do you believe in? What is spirit to you and who are you? These are the questions that you're waking up to too. And who hurt you? Who hurt you? And it's almost like I see for some of you just writing down the people that have hurt you and everything they've done and just releasing it. Cause you're kind of, you're carrying that. And it's like a big backpack that's going with you on every relationship. And so just taking the time to set the backpack down so you can relieve yourself of all the pain and all the burdens um, and allowing yourself to heal and receive love because you deserve it again if you guys chose deck number four this is your reading and should you let go of this love connection my response is yes you should for the benefit of self-love and also for this person thank you guys so much for tuning in to this pick a card reading i will see you guys in the next pick a card reading remember everyone is on the same journey just taking different routes to their destination so don't be so hard on yourself love and light to you all